my channel today I'm going to be reviewing three Freeman skincare products. So I picked these up at Marshalls. They were a dollar cheaper. But, uh, prices do vary but they're usually never more than five dollars. So I'm going to start off with the charcoal and black sugar mud mask. You apply this to clean skin. It hardens up. It helps um, purify your skin and kind of suck out any gunk and stuff. Um, I use this probably once every two weeks. I'm not really meticulous about applying this on a regular basis, but I do feel it helps. I always apply it when I feel like I'm breaking out a lot, and it definitely helps my skin. It dries on your face into a dark gray color. You rinse it off with warm water. I like to rinse it off in the shower, preferably, just because I find any type of mask to be a hassle to get off, where the water starts running the dark color and it just gets a little bit messy, so when I can, I rinse this off in the shower. The next one is one of my favorites and it's the Honeydew and Chamomile Sleeping Mask. It deeply hydrates overnight. This one's for dry skin, the charcoal one's for normal to combo skin, which is what I do have. Um, even though I don't have dry skin, I definitely enjoyed it. It has a very sweet, calming scent. It definitely smells like Honeydew at night. It's not very greasy. It sinks into the skin pretty easily. Um, I wouldn't say it's super moisturizing, but it does give you that little tiny extra boost of moisture without leaving an oily residue. Granted, you're going to sleep, so it doesn't really matter, but for some reason, <laughs> it still bothers me. Moving on to the last one, which I wasn't too happy about. This is the Sweet Tea and Lemon Peel-Off Clay Mask. So once again, you apply it to dry skin, put it on, it's very, very sticky and very, very thick, and then you start peeling it off after 15 minutes once it has completely dried up, and it's supposed to help unclog blackheads and your pores and all of that stuff. I don't feel like it does that much for my skin, to be honest. Plus, it's not the most pleasant sensation taking it off. Um, it kind of feels like you're ripping off a band-aid all over your face and certain parts of my face are a little bit more sensitive to that So I don't really like it. I don't really see the benefits of it I'm gonna continue to use it because I purchased it, but Not my favorite. It says it pulls pore clogging grime. It is for normal to combo skin So this is the one that I would personally pass on so those are my thoughts on these Freeman skincare products. These are very, very affordable and they get the job done. I prefer these mud masks over the Queen Helene ones, which are quite popular on YouTube, or at least they were a couple years ago. I find that one extremely hard to get rid of once it's on my face. Uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts on these products. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time with another beauty video. Bye. Everybody. So today I'm going to be doing a three minute review on the Miss Jessie's co-wash and I will link down below any previous Miss Jessie reviews.